when I actually applied the picture to my hand, it's very, very nasty. And if you get any quality on it, it adheres to the skin and it produces very, very nasty burns. Wait, you do. Now, successfully testing the flammable material, Richard will try out the hoops. Oh, no. What do you think I'm doing? Coffee? Ah, you smart guy. head? <laughs> gonna go over here with Toby. Let's go over here with Toby. Oh no, crap! I just hurt myself. You okay? Do you guys ever stub your toe and stuff like that with your toe, and then it just crunches, and then you hear it, and you're like. Oh, that hurt really bad. Well, that just happened to me. <laughs> that hurt. Right. That hurt. No, I don't want you to kiss my feet until after the shower thing. <laughs> that just sounded very sexual. <laughs> Sorry, M&Ms, and good morning. <laughs> hey, Tubbs. So we are... Ow, my foot really hurts. We are going to start doing the insanity thing. I'm going to stretch. I just got done editing the vlog. It is not rendering. But we are going to do that today. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm not. I am so freaking sore from yesterday. It hurts to walk. Hey, what are you doing, honey? Wait, what are you doing, TD? TD. Wait, 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 what are you, wait, what are you, oh, oh, you're cleaning. <laughs> you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. So. I want this one. What? I want this one. Ah, I gotta clean it. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, he's been in a cleaning mood all day. Oh, I've been in a really, really sore mood. Mood, move, mood. I meant to say that I'm sore to move. Um, yeah. So we ended up working out. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I'll let my girl tell you. Hey, hon. What happened? What What happened? After we uh, worked out. Take a shower. No, before that. <laughs> well, you want me to say that you passed out? Well, yeah. And threw up? Well, not that part, but. <laughs> Guys, that's what you did. Well, like, you were so sweet, though. Okay, so I went to. I went into the bathroom because I felt like I was throwing up and stuff, and then Michael just saw me in the process of, like, going to pass out and, like, fainting, and he, like, caught me, and it was so cute, and I woke up, and I looked up at him, and then I looked down and threw up, but I wasn't going to go that far. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to point out of the fact that he was really sweet and he was there for me when I was fainting. And uh, I don't twice. know. Well, yeah, I fainted twice. When we got into the shower, I got really lightheaded again and I fainted. So I was just like, you know, I, I'm going to go lay down for a while. So. so but you're a sweet honey. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my mom is an epileptic. So kind of saw the signs when you were telling me you were kind of like feeling light of the day, kind of had a feeling your blood sugar was crashing. Yeah. Because she didn't, she didn't eat anything before. I had a thing of yogurt an hour before, so I had some calories to burn. Plus, I'm not hypoglycemic or diabetic, so I don't have blood sugar issues. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, so, yeah. assumably after the workout, we worked out for about 20 minutes. We did half the video, yeah. first of all. That 20 minutes was pretty intense. Yeah. So who did that, and then uh, you know, to take a shower, and she fainted. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you guys didn't know already, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I know I've been trying to talk about this and stuff, but every single time I try to talk about it, I don't want to seem like conceited or like something's actually wrong with me because I don't feel like anything's wrong with me. But um, I have a blood sugar issue. I. 
don't know what's wrong with me. I've been told that I'm hypoglycemic now by like four different nurses, but I've never been tested. So I don't know if I'm hypoglycemic, diabetic, or what's actually wrong with me, but I've never been able to get a chance to go get tested because of the fact that I don't really have health insurance. Um, so it, it's just kind of like one of those things, but we were working out and right when it was time, I was like, you know, I can't do anymore. I feel lightheaded. I feel like I'm going to throw up and I went to go into the bathroom to feel like I was going to throw up. And Michael just said that my eyes are rolling back into my head and he caught me and I was really happy that he was there for me because, you know, when you faint or you when you get in that motion it's kind of scary but at the same time it's one of those things you know but it's nice to have someone to sit there and catch you instead of you falling and on your face your and cracking your head open or something like that so this is what my mom did when she had she has epilepsy she's had it since she was 17 um long boring story short she got she developed a say theoretically that she developed it from a brain injury when she was born back my mom was born in 1940 and even until the early 50s when they birthed the baby they used forceps well they injured my mom's brain when they birthed her and when she was 17 she developed epilepsy from it and when i was a kid growing up we'd be in a car moving trucking and she'd have a seizure you know and i've got a scar that goes from here all the way to here um when i was 14 my mom had a seizure. We were going to my high school that summer, it was like in August, to pick up my books for the next year. I think my sophomore year of school, and uh, or my freshman year actually. And my mom had a seizure behind the wheel. She was driving an AMC Hornet at the time. And uh, she ended up going and having a seizure. And my brother was in the passenger side and I was in the back seat. And I'll just give you a quick synopsis of what happened. She had a seizure, I told my brother. And me and my brother had this thing worked out where, you know, if one of us recognized that our mom was having a seizure, we trained each other on how to pull the car over, hit the brakes, shit like that. When my brother was 10, maybe 11, I think 11. So he's a little kid. So well, you guys I, are only three years apart, aren't you? Yeah. So you were 17. He I was been, 14. Oh, uh, you were 14, okay. So he was, was 11. he was a preteen. So anyway, so I told him I was having a seizure, and he grabbed the wheel, and instead of hitting the brakes, he hit the gas. Right. And he managed to miss three lanes of moving traffic. I grew up in Chicago, and on the south side of Western Avenue, there's three lanes of traffic and park lane of traffic on the curb. And he missed all three. He missed all three moving lanes of traffic. He missed a parked car, jumped the curb, and slammed the car into a a uh, light bulb at 40 mm -hmm. miles an hour. It was funny because the speedometer was exactly the last thing I saw before I got knocked the fuck out and went through the front windshield at 40 miles an hour. So yeah, I landed on the sidewalk and I had glass in my skull and uh, the, the doctors had to peel my scalp back and scrub the glass out of my skull. It was pretty normal. Hey, it's the fucking truth, dude. You know? Yeah, I know. Gross, yeah, but it's... <laughs> Part of why my face looks like it does, mm -hmm. you know. I've been in several car accidents, been in a shit ton of fist fights. My, my face is all fucked up because yeah. of my life. I lived a pretty rough life, so. Well, we're just getting personal with you guys today. Hope you don't mind. Well, that's part so, of what it is, though. Yeah, this is, for us, the vlogging stuff is for us, but it's also for you guys to be part of our lives. But we mainly started doing the vlogs, honestly, just for the fun of it and just to have a memory of us. So um, not just for ourselves, to have like a memory for ourselves or like for our kids when we get older and stuff that our kids can look back on and be like, oh, that's how mom and dad used to be or what they used to look like because Michael is in his age where he is going to start looking older, different as our kids get older and you know they might not be able to remember their father or they will remember their father but you know what I mean like it's just one of those things that are kind of what we decided we wanted to do because of the relationship that we were in so yeah.
It's an abscess. So we gotta get ready to go to work, so I'll we'll catch you guys on the floor. Speedy. Deuces. <laughs> you didn't even wait. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. We are going to bed. We got home. I stayed up waiting for him. And then he stayed up and hung out with me. Whoa, almost dropped that. Hung out with me for like an hour. And I am very sore. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Guys, good morning, honey. Good morning, Toby. Stop licking the camera and sniffing it or whatever you do. <laughs> good morning, Eminem. So, I and Michael are going to start doing the. I don't know what the hell this crazy shit's called. Insanity. Oh, uh, yeah. That. We're kind of scared to do it. So, this is a fit test.